The Huskies took down Vanderbilt in the second round of the NCAA tournament, 77 to 44. Despite being up by just 13 at the half, the Huskies started the second with a 17 point run and never looked back. With games like this, you just want to shut people out. You know, you don't want to give them a reason to feel like they're in, in the game still. And um, so we knew coming out we had 20 more minutes to redeem ourselves and it had to start with the very beginning. Um, I thought we did a good job of doing that. Coach is just honest, you know, you guys can't turn it on and off. You guys got to make sure you're being consistent throughout the whole game and making sure that, you know, once you're up on a team, don't let them think that they can come back. We wanted to go in there and kind of disrupt their offense a little bit. So I think on the defensive end, we went out there, we were sending traps and everything, just trying to get them out of the flow of the offense because we know they're a team that's very disciplined, that likes to run their set. So just want to make sure we disrupt that and it's hard for them to get in the flow of the game. We took care of the ball and we got went on some runs and people were hitting shots. The biggest goal that we wanted to make sure we accomplished was that we were physical with them the whole game. We knew they were going to come out and try to hit us and, you know, take us out of our game. So we just tried to make sure that we were staying mentally tough the whole time. Time. For Kalina to break the three-point record, that's just a great accomplishment, and she's always been a great three-point shooter, so I know when I'm passing her the ball, I'm making that she's making it every time. So she's worked really hard with her shot, and she's always in the gym trying to make sure she can even improve it. So that's a great accolade for her. It's super exciting for all the legends that have come through here and all the great athletes. Uh, it's awesome to be among them in the record books now forever, hopefully. I gotta make some more threes, make sure nobody else comes above me. But um, it's really cool to know that um, I'm one of them in there now, and that you know, I'm somehow I'm still here, in Connecticut forever. Well, honestly, I'm surprised it took her this long. Um, no, you know that's a huge accomplishment, and proud of her. She deserves it. Um, there was a few times I actually did think she had already gotten it, so um, for her to finally get it, uh, good, good for her. We feel that if we work hard enough, if we play our game, that you know we earn our way to the Sweet 16 every single year. There's a lot of teams that are fighting to get to the Sweet 16 and it, it, it's not easy to do. People may think it is, but it, it's a long season and you have to battle out there against every team that you're playing. A lot of teams get to this point and are just happy to be there and just kind of enjoying the moment and stuff like that. So for us, um, it's a little different. We're expected to get there and um, we just have to give it everything and anything that we have, leave it out on the court, make sure that we're, you know, it's like a big test. Make sure we buckle down, we study, we know exactly what our game plan is going to be, and um, we'll take it one game at a time. The Huskies will make their 20th straight trip to the Sweet 16, as they will play Maryland on Saturday in Bridgeport. Reporting from the NCAA Tournament, this is Emily Noonan for Huskies All Access.